Well, this looks like a fun spot. Come and play with us. Come and play with us, Daddy. Forever. And ever. And ever. It's just a dream, right? Danny, why are you here? Don't you know I haven't been able to sleep in days? I came to get my fire engine to play with. Are you having a good time? Yes. Good. I want you to like it here. I wish we could stay here forever, and ever and ever. <laughs> Dad? What? You wouldn't ever hurt mom and me, would you? Did your mother ever say that to you? That I would hurt you? I love you Danny. I love you more than anything else in the whole world, and I'd never do anything to hurt you, never. You know that, don't you? <coughs> and I'd never do anything to hurt you, never. You know that, don't you? <coughs> yes. Good. Mom, are you in there? Oh my god! What happened, honey? I had the most terrible nightmare I ever had. It's the most horrible dream ever. I dreamed that I killed you and Danny. But I didn't just kill you. I cut you up into little pieces. Oh my god. That's sick. Okay well, Jehovah will help us. Everything will be just fine. We'll just pray the insanity away. I better check on Danny. Something's wrong. Mom. Danny. What happened? I went into room 1914. Did Dad do this? <laughs> that son of a bitch. God, I'd give anything for a dream. Hi Lloyd. A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is Mr. Torrance. What'll it be? Now I'm awfully glad you asked me that Lloyd, because I just happened to have two twenties and two tens right here in my wallet. I was afraid they were going to be there until next April. <coughs> so here's what, you slipped me a bottle of Macallan Scotch 12 year, a glass and some ice. You can do that, can't you Lloyd? You're not too busy, are you? No sir. I'm not busy at all. Good man. You set them up, and I'll knock them back Lloyd. One by one. That's exactly what Anthony Morris III tells me when he visits. Say, Lloyd, it seems I'm temporarily light. No charge to you Mr. Torrance. Your money is no good here. No? Orders from the house. It's all covered by voluntary donations. Nice. How are things going Mr. Torrance? Things could be better Lloyd. Things could be a whole lot better. I hope it's nothing serious. Nothing serious. Just a little problem with the old ball and chain upstairs. <laughs> nothing that I can't handle though, Lloyd. <coughs> Thanks. Women. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Words of wisdom, Lloyd. Words of wisdom. I haven't laid a hand on him. God damn it, I didn't. I wouldn't touch one hair of his goddamn little head. I love the little son of a bitch. I'd do anything for him. As long as I live she'll never let me forget what happened. Ugh. I did hurt him once, okay? It was an accident, completely unintentional. It could have happened to anybody. And it was three goddamn years ago. The little fucker had thrown all my papers all over the floor. All I tried to do was to pull him up. 
a momentary loss of muscular coordination. Oh! Jack. <laughs> Thank God you're here. Jack, there's someone else in the hotel with us. There is a crazy woman in one of the rooms. She tried to strangle Danny. Are you out of your mind? No. It's the truth, really. I swear it. Danny told me. He went up into one of the bedrooms, the door was open, and he saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. She tried to strangle him. Which room was it? Room 1914.